So, uh, Soundwave, what do you think of my new look? Looks pretty good, right? Yeah, I forgot you were the talkative type. Ah! Who turns off the lights? Okay, the lights should be off, so I should be able to go. Huh? Really? Um. Did we just really let a tiny Autobot escape? <sighs> Did... I'm reporting it as your fault, okay? Soundwave Superior, Autobot Inferior. Yes, Soundwave is my favorite character. The love by the man of Xiaolong and today welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna to be reviewing Titans Returns, Transformers Generation, Sentinel Prime and Autobot Infinitus, and now I can throw this away. So, as this is a Titans Return toy, it is based on the Headmaster series, which is technically a series that have giant bodies transforming as the vehicles, and little robots that actually transform into heads. No, no spoilers right there. So, um... Yeah, as the Titans Master is ba t Titans Masters Titans Return is based on Headmaster series, then you obviously have the little head and the body. So um, let's start off with Autobot Infinitus or just Infinitus. Uh, he's actually quite detailed, as you can tell with his body and um, little machine guns, pew, pew, and his and his very detailed chest and face. I'm I'm not really sure about this, but I think his head is the same head as this head. So um, yeah, and um, here is his ship. It looks pretty good, except for the fact that it obviously has um, underbody syndrome, like other planes in Transformers. So yeah, um, this guy can actually ride inside the plane as well. If you open the cockpit right here, you can put it in and put the cockpit on. You can also ride on the side of this gun if you really want to. And then you can attach this off and then plug up this orange bit on the hole and then and boom. He is now controlling a turret thing on the side of a plane. Which looks Pretty cool. So uh, let's get to the transformation already. So um, in order to transform him, what you want to do is you want to take off the weapons and put him in the cockpit. Now, before I start, this is a triple changer, it, which means we, it will have three, fo three, three forms. Three forms, which is its plane form, as you can see right here, its train form, and its robot mode. So we're going to transform it into its train form first. So what you want to do is you want to pull up the wings like this and they go to the under half. Now what you want to do is you want to take these panels and just pull them down. You don't need to peg them in yet. And unpeg the guns from the wings. Then what you want to do is you want to, you want to move the wings out of the way and kind of move them up. Then what you want to do is you want to take the panels and pull them down, but don't peg them in like I just did. Okay, what you want to do with these machine gun turrets thing is that you want to pull them up and leave them in this position. Then, I'm going to move this up a bit. You want to take this, put this aside and make sure this peg plays into that. Make sure this peg plays into that hole and this peg plays into that hole in the middle. Oh, and make sure to close up the landing gear as well. Okay, now what you want to do here is you want to split this apart and also split that apart as well. Then what you want to do is you want to open this panel and then turn around and swap the pl plane nose. So do the same to the other side. And 
make sure the plane, the flat end of the plane nose is directly lined up with this panel. Then what you want to do is you want to peg this in here, make sure this point and this point is pegged into this point and that point on the side right there. You'll do the same to the other side as well. Now I always forget this part for some reason. Take these panels and flip them back to the way you had them in spaceship mode. Okay, and take these panels and pull them down. Then you take the weapons and put them on this hole right here. Okay, and here is the train mode. So I personally really love this mode compared to the um, plane mode, as if you saw in the overview, you totally wouldn't guess that these grey things would be train wheels. You would have thought those would be like the strange engines. Also, there is a lot of detail at the top here with the train head obviously being a detail and then down here as well with the little doors, the indented doors and more train wheels and I love how the panels just really express more detail in the train mode also it kind of looks badass having a train that has like 10,000 different ray guns on it so yeah so uh, now that we're done with that let's go to the plane mode so what you want to do is you want to take off the weapons once again and you can either leave them separate if you want because this will obviously be the robot gun mode's weapons but but I personally like to keep them attached. So, yeah. You also want to pull pull the wings down and take out Infinitus. Okay. Then I just put it back up again. Then what you want to do is you want to unpeg the wings and then put, fold these uh, and then fold these panels back. and fold these back and make sure this time to peg them in okay. then what you want to do is you want to detach this part to that and this part to that and then reattach this red piece or orange orange piece a little spread in the lighting and then just leave it there for now. Then what you want to do with the wings is you want to move them up back like this. This and then get these this this peg right here and attach it to that hole. Okay. Turn around and I'm gonna actually move them up a bit. So what you want to do is you want to take out these pegs and Pull out the nose cone. Do the same to the other side. Oops, and I meant swap of the nose cone. What am I saying? Uh, pull this landing gear back as I forgot about it again. Okay, then what you want to do is you want to get the arms and pull it down and pull the red piece out. Get a piece out. Now what you do is you want to get Infinitus and transform into his, his head mode so you just pull down the arms and pull up the legs 180 degrees and just turn around boom attach the number pull this grey piece to pull up the weird fingers and then take the weapon and put him on his arm or whatever port that's there like this one uh, one on his leg like that one that one and also, oh, and that, oh yeah, and then these two. So, yeah. So here you go. Here is Autobot, Infinitus, and Central Prime combined into one cool guy. And
And this guy is actually really cool. He's very bright and orange, which I really like because I personally like orange, as you can't tell by this green, uh, green, 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 green. <laughs> by this orange shelf right here. And um, and I personally really like his color scheme. He's also really fun to transform, as you just saw, and um, he's super fun. And uh, that's it. Anyway, I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next episode.